Bamboo Lab just changed the game again. And I'm not talking about their new printer, the A1 Mini. I'm talking about Maker World, their new 3D model sharing repository. Now I know what you might be thinking. Great, another model sharing site that I'll have to sift through to find what I'm looking for. And you'd be forgiven for having that attitude. After all, there have been a lot of new entries into this space in recent history. Fangs and printables have undoubtedly stolen market share from the tried and true Thingiverse, with the addition of convenient features like in-browser 3D model rendering and the ability to search by image or by geometric similarity. So what has Bamboo Lab done differently? One click printing, no slicing required. In most cases, model repositories allow you to download STL files. It's up to you to import it to your slicer of choice and configure the settings for your specific printer. In some cases, the designer uploads a 3MF file, which includes the model geometry as well as the print settings. But you still need to be at your computer in order to slice the file and send it to your printer. With Maker World, you can browse for models and send them to your printer right from your phone. This makes it incredibly convenient and accessible for those that are new to the hobby. It doesn't require a special skill set or knowledge of which settings do what. Simply find a model that you think looks cool and send it to your printer. So in the same way that the A1 lowers the barrier to entry for 3D printing hardware, Maker World lowers the barrier to entry for 3D printing software. When used in unison, the process couldn't be simpler. So get ready for the 3D printing community to grow exponentially in size. The barrier to entry is lower than it's ever been. Let's have a closer look at Maker World and see just how easy it really is. Maker World can be accessed from the web, but it really shines on mobile, where it's integrated with the Bamboo Handy app. You can choose one of the featured models, browse by category, search for what you're looking for, or follow one of your favorite designers and browse their creations directly. So one-click printing isn't exactly new. We've seen it before from AnchorMake, but they're M5 and M5C. You can select a model of your choosing and send it directly to the printer without ever going to your computer. The difference is that there is a pre-canned list of designs from pre-qualified designers. It is not an open community which can be contributed to by other 3D printing enthusiasts. With Maker World, anybody can upload their designs and anybody can print them. So it's much more open, versatile, and powerful compared to the Anchor Make solution. One thing that Maker World currently lacks, which is present on other platforms, is the ability for creators to monetize their content. Thangs, for instance, has creator subscription programs, which gives exclusive access to their models. I, for one, would like to see a combination of free and premium models. With the direct printing feature, this could go a step further than sites like Cults 3D, where the purchase grants you unlimited access to the 3D model. With Maker World, we could see models available at a lower cost, but with a finite number of prints allowed. This would be similar to how you can rent a movie and use it for a short time, or buy it outright and own it forever. This would also make it possible for companies to grant single print licenses to their products. In this way, they could share the designs without risk of redistribution or exploitation. Interestingly, Maker World has a section of the user profile for copyright claims. It's unclear to me whether these are claims the user has submitted themselves or whether they're being submitted against a design they've uploaded. At any rate, it shows that Bamboo Lab is taking intellectual property rights seriously. I assume that if a model from a Patreon page is uploaded to Maker World, the creator could issue a copyright claim and have it removed. So I have my phone with me here. I'm going to do a live demo of Maker World using the Bamboo Handy app. So when we launch into the app here, we can see the models page and we are given a featured list of models that are popular at this specific point in time. So if we click into a model that we think looks interesting, you can see right at the bottom, we have prepare to print as an option. And you can see all of our printers listed at the top. There should be the A1 Mini here as well, if a profile exists for it. And that's the stipulation. In addition to uploading the 3D model geometry, we also need a 3MF file with the print settings. So not every model will have a pre-sliced profile for every printer. So if we scroll along here, we can see different versions of this model sliced with different settings. So I'm gonna click into this 0.2 three color model. Then I will hit print. And you can see here, I can select from my list of printers. I can also select which plate they have. Currently, they all have the textured PEI plate. So we can select for each input which filament we want to use. I do not have beige or brown loaded. So we are going to make this a pink and blue llama. Or is it an alpaca? 
I don't know, I always get confused on that. This is what's kind of cool, is you can set the number of copies of the model that you want to print, and it will try to occupy the entire build plate with as many models as possible. However, of course, you will be limited by the size of the printer. Then we have our normal configuration like we do when we send a print from Bamboo Studio. We can determine if we want to do flow calibration, time lapse, bed leveling, etc. Okay, so now I'm going to click print. And just like that, it is sending the job to that printer. Also, what I think is pretty cool is the preview image shows exactly what the end product is going to look like. The other cool thing about Maker World is that they've gamified it in a similar way as printables. So you can get points for things like uploading models. You can actually redeem those points for rewards. So you can see here that you have the ability to redeem it for uh, some of these kits that come with the A1. You can also get a gift card for the Bamboo store. So there's certainly a lot of potential here. What do you think? Will you be making the jump over to Maker World with their one-click printing feature, or will you keep doing things the old-fashioned way? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all of our future content. My name's Taylor, this is YGK3D, and until next time, happy 3D printing.